Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another tutorial in Madlux Effect. Did you guys watch my last Nuke Blender composting render? I guess I posted it around like a week earlier. So some of you guys messaged me like how I rendered that scene and also some of you were curious about like how I tracked that scene. So to be honest, I tracked that scene inside Nuke because I was not able to get a decent track inside Blender. I'm not against Blender tracking. Some shots are very easily trackable inside Blender. But in this case, I was not able to get a decent track inside blender so i opted for nuke for tracking and after tracking i set up some geometries inside nuke and exported the entire scene from nuke into blender then i did all my cg works inside blender and after that i rendered as exrs and brought back that into nuke and did the final compositing inside nuke in this tutorial i'm going to cover up the basics like uh, how i track that scene inside nuke and how i brought that geometries as well as the camera from nuke into blender i hope this tutorial is going to be useful to every one of you so without further delay let's jump into the tutorial okay so we are inside nuke and we have the footage here let's do a quick playback and see how our footage looks like it's quite a simple task which can be easily trackable inside nuke i guess we can track this shot very easily inside blender as well not sure which software is better but i'm going to use nuke here because i followed this method in that last compositing renders i just want to do the same so make sure your project settings are set sorry project settings are set according to the work range let's take a camera tracker node Again, this is not a well detailed tutorial for camera tracking because there are tons of stuff inside YouTube for camera tracking inside Nuke. So if you have any questions, please type in camera tracking inside Nuke and you will find tons of tutorials. Inside the properties of camera tracker, go into settings, check the option preview features. You can see all those features inside our footage. And I'm going to type in like uh, maybe 500 here because I just want more features for tracking and uh, come back to the camera tracker properties. And uh, here we have some settings for masking. I don't have have an alpha mat for masking so i'm just going to leave that as blank or none so for camera motion i'm just keeping this as free camera and for lens distortion as i don't have any idea which lens is used for shooting this footage i'm just going to keep this as unknown lens again i don't have any idea like which lens they used and what's the focal length i'm just going to leave that as unknown constant probably simply going to track Yes, it took a while to complete the future tracking. So after that, I'm just going to solve these features. Cool. So we got an error of 1.33, which is pretty decent. So if you want to refine this further, you can go into auto tracks and just tune in these properties. For me, this tracks looks good. So let's go into the 3D view and check how our point cloud looks like. So what we can do is select a bunch of points here and uh, let's right click over here ground plane set to selected now you can see a better view of our footage here is that table and chairs and this is the ground so you can still modify this scene by setting x and y axis but i'm just going to leave this as it is inside the properties let's create a camera and uh, let's take model builder node even you can just create a card using these points but i just want to show you this method so let's connect this into the camera and let's connect the source pipe into footage and just click on the model builder here we go we have the point cloud as well as we have the footage as well so let's draw a card over here so come back to first frame and uh, here i'm going to draw a card maybe i can set it like this We can even further fine tune this so i'm going to leave as uh, like this so come back to the last frame and as you can see your grid is moved completely out from there okay now you can see the wireframe is completely set over that plane i would say come back to the first frame inside the model builder properties you can just select this card as your mesh keep the export option as selected geometry and even you have some other options as well so i'm going to keep this as selected geometry and bake this card as a model so here we have a mesh that's awesome right now we have a mesh and we have a camera take a scene let's suppose if you need some uh, you know locators inside blender for specific locations so i'm going to create some axis here let's select this feature and right click create axis for this specific part we can select this uh, feature and uh, right click create axis for this specific location we can select maybe this one Create. so we have a couple of axes here going to take scene node so connecting camera model as well as the axis uh, let's take a right geo node 
inside the file knob let's type in a location here so i have set a location here as well as i typed a name file extension for exporting this is abc because i prefer alambic for exporting mesh and camera into blender and here we have some options uh, we can export all this stuff for storage format i saw in internet that most people prefer ogawa for exporting abc files and let's click on this execute button again i'm just keeping this as global and just click on ok cool so we are inside blender and let's delete all this stuff go into file import alambic inside the path i can see my abc file so i'm going to select that and import alambic so here we have all the axis geometry and camera which we just imported which we just exported from nuke into blender so select the camera and just press o you can see the mesh over there and some axis as well so i can just go into the camera properties into the background image just click on add image movie clip open click on the footage and yes the locators are pretty big into the scene so i can select the locators maybe go back to the axis and just scale that if you want so now if i dropped a mesh here let's drop a cube oops let's grab that and keep it over here let's keep it over here and go back to the camera view and let's do a quick playback and see how it looks like okay so blender crashed and i'm going to do the same thing again mesh cube let's scale it down a bit okay i've kept it over here so let's go into the camera view now if we can play and see that matches perfectly into the scene right it's that easy to take the mesh as well as camera from nuke into blender so i hope this tutorial is going to be useful again one more thing so let's see how we can use this axis as well this is the axis which is kept nearby that water tap so let's take a cylinder and uh, let's scale it down a bit okay i have kept it over here let's go into the footage and let's scale this a bit now let's play and see how it looks like so that's why exporting axis from nuke is so helpful for working inside blender please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials thank you for watching